The recent alarming spread of influenza has decreased for the fourth consecutive week, but still remains over three and a half times the yearly average, according to the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency. 질병관리본부는 국내 독감 환자 수가 최근 4주 연속 줄어들고는 있으나 2024, 2020 5. 절기 독감 유행 기준으로 3.5배가 넘는 수치를 여전히 유지 중이라고 발표했습니다. Yeah, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago about yeah. how influenza cases are on the rise. So what the KDCA does is they uh, measure the rate of suspected patients. And the fifth week of January, that number was at 30.4 per 1,000 patients. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, down from a peak of 99.8 back on uh, the first week of January. So it is decreasing, but it's still three and a half times higher than the actual average uh, of 8.6. So mm. it's still uh, out there, the, yeah. the bug. Uh, be careful, but it is waning. Mm. Waning means reducing, going mm -hmm. down, decreasing. Gradually. Mm -hmm. Gradually, exactly. So, yeah, a lot of people, and I know many people around me who've had the flu. Um, Myself and, included. Yes, yes, yeah, exactly. And it's it was actually, it seems like it was worse this year than before, like yeah. the symptoms and everything. And yeah, how I feel long like it. Went uh, on. Yeah. I don't know what the scientific reasoning for that mm. is, but children are actually more prone mm -hmm. uh, because I believe their immune systems are still developing. But yeah. uh, 7 to 12-year-olds uh, are still being infected at a rate of 50 per thousand uh, children and 13 mm. through 18 year olds, but also uh, the elderly. If you're 65 and sure. over, if you contract the flu, it could lead to other sort of uh, health issues. So mm -hmm. you need to be careful out there. All these stats are quite alarming. Yes, so if something is alarming, it's surprising, mm -hmm. uh, it's distressing, distressing yeah. or frightening. Mm. 알람이라는 게 우리 아침에 깨우기 위한 알람도 음. 있고 그 다음에 이제 화재 경보기도 알람 영어로는 fire alarm이라고 표현을 하죠. 그런 거 이렇게 윙윙 소리가 나는 그런 경종 그게 음. 알람인데 alarming이라는 형용사를 썼을 때는 이제 그만큼 어, 놀랄만하다 yes. 이런 뜻이 있습니다. Something that causes fear. 음, exactly. And still remaining. Yeah, so this expression, it's interesting. It means mm. to continue to be in this sort of same state or condition. But yeah. uh, if you look at the, the term still and remains, it's redundant. Mm -hmm. But native speakers will say this a lot. Because yeah. oftentimes, if you put this into a, a word processor like Word, mm. um, it'll underline it and recommend actually removing the still. Because you can just say remains and it'll mean the same thing. Mm. 아직도 어, 뭐뭐하다, 아직도 이렇게 이런 상태다. It still remains over 3.5 times. Mm -hmm. 이제 3.5배라는 뜻인데요. 이거는 영어로 3.5 times 해도 되고 three and a half times라고 해도 돼요. Yeah, I read 네. it like that because 음. it sounds more natural. 네, 둘다 가능합니다. 그리고 일상 대화 속에서는 I have influenza 이렇게 안 하고요. I have the flu. The flu. 이렇게 줄여서 얘기를 하죠. 자, 다시 한번 제가 읽어보겠습니다. The recent alarming spread of influenza has decreased for the fourth consecutive week, but still remains over 3.5 times the yearly average, according to the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency. Let's move on. A stream outside Argentina's capital of Buenos Aires has turned crimson red, raising fears among residents, with local officials suspecting the presence of a toxic substance called aniline. 아르헨티나 수도 부에노사이레스 교회의 한 하천이 짙은 빨간색으로 변해 주민들의 우려가 커지는 가운데 현지 당국은 강물의 유독성 물질인 아날린이 섞여든 것으로 의심하고 있습니다. Yeah, so this area is home to many what are called tanneries. Mm. Uh, and tanneries are uh, industrial uh, manufacturing sort of uh, facilities when you make leather. Mm -hmm. So you take animal hide right. and you tan it with a, a color. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the process, chemicals are used. And what many residents there fear is that uh, these chemicals are being dumped into the nearby stream. And if you look at a picture of it, it really does look like the stream yeah. is almost not even crimson. It almost mm. looks like blood red. Oh, really? Uh, it's a very bright uh, red there. And is it more of a scarlet? Uh, kind of a scarlet. It's a deeper, mm. sort of darker oh, red. Okay, deeper, darker. Um, mm. and, and local officials, they're investigating at the moment. The initial sort of uh, assessment is that it's an organic mm. sort of dye that's being dumped in there. Got it. It's possibly suggesting that it might not be harmful, but in mm -hmm. any case, there have been suspicions by residents that 
uh, of pollution uh, by industries just sort of dumping these chemicals in the stream. Yeah, and the chemical that's being suspected is uh, aniline. Aniline. Uh, 우리말로 아닐린인데 제가 아까 아날린이라고 했나 봐요. 아닐린. 어, 아닐린. 네. Uh, aniline in English mm-hmm. is suspected to be in the the waters right now. Yeah. Let's have a look at our first expression, and that is to raise fears. Yes, so uh, the the residents are fearful, Mm -hmm. but it's causing people to be afraid or worried when it's Mm. raising the fears. 네, 우려를 불러일으키는 거, raise fears. Fears, 라고 하죠. And suspecting the presence of something. Yeah, so if you suspect something, you're imagining mm. or uh, something to be true or to exist. Uh, and the presence of something is the existence of something. So they're suspecting that this, uh, this sort of phenomenon is caused by this chemical, mm. the presence of this chemical. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 무언가의 존재가 presence고, suspecting은 의심하는 거니까요. Suspecting the presence of A. A의 존재를 의심한다. Yeah. 예, 아까 얘기했던 그 아닐린이라는 유독성 물질이 들어있을 것이다. 이렇게 의심이 되는 상황이네요. 자, 다시 한번 제가 읽어보겠습니다. A stream outside Argentina's capital of Buenos Aires has turned crimson red, raising fears among residents with local officials suspecting the presence of a toxic substance called aniline. n e All right, let's move on. New research published in Scientific Reports indicates that while the likelihood of space debris striking an airplane is low, the risk is increasing due to growth in both the aviation and spaceflight industries. 우주 잔해가 비행기와 충돌할 가능성이 비록 현재는 낮더라도 항공 산업과 우주 산업이 둘다 성장함에 따라 앞으로 그 위험이 점점 더 커질 것이라 진단한 논문이 과학 저널 Scientific Report 지에 발표됐습니다. Yeah, so you know, space junk is an actual concern. There's a 음. lot of artificial sort of uh, substances and uh, equipment that are just floating above yeah. the earth, uh, just because from all the It doesn't go anywhere, mm. right? And it does mm. orbit the Earth, and oftentimes, these sur- because of the pull of gravity from yep. Earth, they fall into uh, the atmosphere and fall to Earth, which is, is sort of a danger here. Mm. And scientists uh, predict there are about 50,000 pieces of space junk right now, uh, larger than the size of a softball, floating near Earth. And the, the danger is that one of these things could actually hit an airplane, for example, or something else, mm. people on the ground. And uh, what they found out was that places near the eastern seaboard of North America and along the west, the Pacific Northwest, near Vancouver and Seattle, they had about a 25% uh, chance each year of being disrupted by this re-entry 25%. of space debris. And in the news, obviously, uh, mm. in recent days and weeks, uh, there have been many high-profile airline uh, disasters that have occurred, and um, certainly we don't want... something like this to mm. occur uh, anytime soon. Right. When we talk about the likelihood of something, we're talking yeah. about something being literally likely to happen, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so it's the probability or the mm. possibility of something to happen. Um, the likelihood, yeah, you can just uh, interchange it with mm. uh, probability. Or possibility. Possibility, mm. the chance of something the chance. happening. Ah, 그러네요. Um, 대체할 수 있는 단어가 많네요. Yeah, and there's a similar word, likeliness. The likeliness of something to happen mm. is the same meaning uh, yep. as likelihood. 네. 자, 일단 스펠링은요. L-I-K-E-L-I-H-O-O-D가 되겠습니다. Likelihood. 가능성이란 뜻이 있어서 the likelihood of something. So the likelihood of me becoming a uh, football player is zero. 0.0. 0.0%. So <laughs> the likelihood, percentage, chance, possibility, probability, 다 비슷한 mm-hmm. 의미가 되겠죠. Although you never know. You could uh, take it up as a hobby, Sue. So, no? 0.0%. Shane. Yeah? No? Okay. <laughs> no, no, not, no. A, not a football player. No, no, okay. <laughs> But I do enjoy watching... <laughs> What you call soccer, uh-huh. you know, the other football, not yeah. American football. Right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the next one, aviation industry. Yeah, aviation industry. Aviation is anything having to do with uh, the operation of an aircraft, an airplane. Um, aviation is sort of the broader term than airline because mm. there's the aviation industry and there's the airline industry. And right. um, the airline industry is uh, sort of the business and services when mm. we talk about passengers and cargo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
basically uh, all the passenger planes that we take. Mm. But the aviation industry involves, it includes the airline industry, but also these sectors that sort of manufacture and maintain um, the activities that support air travel. 그렇죠. Aviation이라는 게 항공이라는 뜻이라서 aviation industry는 항공 산업이고요. 이 어원이 날다예요. 그래서 우리가 조류 독감할 때 avian influenza라고 하죠. 그래서 이제 날아다니는 새 그, 독감, avian influenza, 줄여서 그냥 bird flu라고 right. 얘기하기도 하는데 어, 거기서 이제 같은 어원이라고 보면 되겠고 나는 그 새, 뭐 아니면 여기서는 날고 있는 그 항공기라는 mm-hmm. 뜻이 되겠죠. So for example, the Wright brothers you would say are the 음. fathers of aviation. Yes. Not, you wouldn't say airline in that case. That's right. right. Airlines 하면은 좀더 이제 고객 중심의 그 서비스. The, the companies, 그쪽. right. 그렇죠. Yeah. 네, 그래서 항공업. 체들의 산업을 얘기하는 것 같고요. 그게 좀더 작은 범주라고 보면 되겠고, aviation industry가 광범위한 그런 범위겠죠. Mm-hmm. Uh, space aviation is another example. You would say space aviation, so anything okay. that flies, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, exactly. 다시 한번 제가 읽어보겠습니다. New research published in Scientific Reports indicates that while the likelihood of space debris striking an airplane is low, the risk is increasing. Due to growth in both the aviation and space flight industries. All right, well, that's it for the headlines.